agenda. Love this game. This game is made by the same people that do Man of Medan, Little Hope, and Until Dawn. So, very pumped to play this and do this as a stream for you. Before I start, I'm just going to go into my Twitch and welcome you all. In order to play this game, you need a smartphone or a tablet. In this case, I'm using my iPad because you need something to record the clues and stuff. Hello, whoever's just joined the stream, I hope you're okay and behaving yourselves. Without further ado, guys, let's start the game. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go with the basic mode, so story mode. We are gonna do a fresh new story. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Let's begin, guys. Bear with me, I'm just going to turn the volume up. Six weeks Head later. On to the vicinity of 535 meter, 1031 possible hostage situation. Extreme caution advised. Suspect description matches the trapper. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook college. Let's play. Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Well, right, we're gonna... Let's be confident with this one. If you've got this one, girl. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep the lamps on. Thank you. 
Please. We're gonna we're gonna pick the right the smart move here. We're gonna all stick together. We don't wanna split our party up. Because anything could happen. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. to you guys as well but I'm gonna pick another one here I think we're gonna we're gonna see that you sticking together let's stick together <laughs> pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Save our part here. The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree booby-trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. He looks like Jonathan Robert Finn Mitchell. has confessed to every single one of these crimes. Why? Because he hopes you will see him as a man, a fellow human being. But this is only another one of the trapper's clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind, and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, for the crimes for which you have been found guilty, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Welcome to anyone that's just joined the stream. I hope you're okay and behaving yourselves. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. 
Right, the plot we've done so far. Officers Marnie and Nelson responded to a sighting of the Trapper serial killer. Jonathan Finn confessed to the Trapper murders and was sentenced at the county court. can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. If you love games like Man of Medan, Little Hope, and Until Dawn, I'd strongly recommend this game. Good morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, Unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary! I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Plot update. Five years later, Becky Marnie hey. arrived to work Becky. at the Homicide Department. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Uh, go with... We're going to go with... Anxious. No. No, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry, it'll blow over. <laughs> Let's be uh, a bit sulky about it. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, you have a word in my office? Look, Marty, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nate, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but... you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Uh, go with... let's be dismissive. Knowing Jonathan Finn's about to make his exit is what gets me up in the morning, sir. Better than a cup of coffee. We have a plot update as well. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn with his without execution his attorney present. I know. Finn requested Thanks a meeting with district so attorney. Doesn't have much time left, does he? Felicity Graves. No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? He can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? We're going to be... We're going to be... Cynical, I reckon. If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after? Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't going to believe me. No one does. 
I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I'm just be curious about it. Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. We're gonna keep being curious. I'm listening. But you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I... We've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped. And I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Let's be a bit sulky about it. You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kinda need to show you myself, you know? Be curious. So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. Settle down. We could go together, check it out. Oh, you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going. I never should have trusted him. Adam Jones should be in here, not me. Be pessimistic. Finn, listen to me. I will look into this. Adam Jones, what you're saying, but even if it's true, it might be a day late and a dollar short. I'm sorry. What do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. Not enough to overturn. Finn is not a good man. But if he dies, and you didn't do everything in your power to make sure he is the trapper, could you live with yourself? Be supportive. 
Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Let's be skeptical. I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage. Same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Be optimistic. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Uh, he could help I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody. But only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Right. Plot update. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. Case against Another Finn was air plate. goddamn tight. Felicity went Nailed to the police to for confirm sake. Finn's story. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. We're gonna be hostile here. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. Who exactly was... Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? We... we are gonna be... optimistic, I reckon. I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so, too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominsky had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so... When you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. 
We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Again, let's be pro let's be professional here. We don't want to come across as being a jerk. Let's be restrained. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. Trying to play the game as realistic as we can. Park, We're in the police the force. We want to be respectful of people. Break in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. As always, feel free to come on the air and say hello, or interaction is always welcome. Please participate if you can, if you can't, that is also fine. Please give my Twitch a follow, which is twitch.tv, boardwarrior1987. Any streams that you miss, don't worry, as they'll be added to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com. WrestleBlogger1987, I hope everyone is okay wherever you are in the world during these tough times. My mission is to get to 50 followers, if you could please help me. That'd be greatly appreciated, as I want to get the next stage in my affiliation process we are gonna enter let, let's uh, go with let's, well, we're gonna search the area I reckon This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. I'm gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. She's gonna go in the trailer anyway, so. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. We'll try. Got one. Got two out of three clues, that's not bad. We got wire cutters. Rescue the hostage now. Very crucial we get this right as well. If not, she could die. Help, help me. Oh, shh. Okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I. 
I was in the bar. I. I don't oh, we've got another plot update as I well. I woke up here. Becky recalled oh, how God. she helped catch the please trapper. Help me, please. What's happening? We got to be careful here. Right, let's help the victim. Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Plot update. Felicity continues her discussion later. with the police. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. Best compliment, uh. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh, just doing my job. And, um, uh, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip, uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him. Dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Again. Try and be civil. Let's be calming. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? Let's be polite. All right, I've heard enough. Thank you everyone for hearing me out. And thank you for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. This cavalry seems a right dick. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that... Cavalry's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. See what she's up to tonight. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. I'll probably do this all in one stream, actually, because it's quite a short game. A rat trap? Huh. Plot yeah. update. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up. Felicity and Becky no go idea. over the evidence of the trapper of the killings. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door, and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Let's be apologetic. Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. 
And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Be thoughtful here. Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. <laughs> you couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Right, we are gonna be resentful. Calvary's just gotta stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town, okay? This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. Not for plot update. Officer Montesnos responded to a break in in Anyone progress. Here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Becky was summoned to the scene of a what? recent murder. It does a cop. What? What happened? I was just trying to put that together. 
Call came in and there was a body. Responders showed up, body was rigged. Trap was down. Let's be concerned here. Police? Who? How? It's cavalry. What? No, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. They're still sorting through the mess. Becky. Oh my God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And off some Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. That's how you pronounce it. Officer Montes Montesinos. Well, we've got some more clues we got to find. Try and get as many as we can. Really him. Anything? Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? Let's just let's just to say the truth where we was. We was with I, uh, I spent the night or uh, the evening with Felicity Graves. Going over files? All night? Yeah? So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself! I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart! This isn't happening. Confused. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. Hmm. <laughs> Quite good so far, so we, we are getting somewhere. just go over some of the other things we got going on we will read all the character biographies while we're here right Adam Jones orphan presumed dead Finn claims he pretended to be the trapper to take the heat off of the real killer Adam Jones Adam promised to kill again to clear Finn's name Adam supposedly died in the fire that closed down Las Palmas Orphanage. Becky Marnie, homicide detective. 
Becky Marnie was a rookie cop in the third precinct, rescued her partner from electrocution and apprehended the trapper. Becky arrested the trapper and was promoted into homicide. She was later accused of mishandling evidence at a crime scene. Bill Vanstone, County Judge. Judge Vanstone sentenced Jonathan Finn to death for the Trapper serial killings. After hearing Finn's confession, he granted Finn a temporary release into police custody. Daniela Gardinez, Trapper victim who is deceased. Daniela was found tied up in Finn's workshop. Daniela was electrocuted in a freak accident during Finn's arrests. Felicity Graves, District Attorney. Felicity Graves was the prosecuting attorney in the Trapper, Trapper serial killing killer trial recommended that Jonathan Finn be sentenced to death. Five years later, Felicity heard Finn's confession about Adam Jones. Jack Calvary, homicide detective, who is deceased. Calvary was the lead detective in the Trappist investigation. He recently accused Becky of mishandling evidence. Calvary was murdered while in the company of an unidentified prostitute. The murder fitted the M.O. of the Trapper serial killer. Jonathan Finn, the Trapper. Finn was caught red-handed with kidnapped victim Daniela Cardenas. He was convicted of the Trapper murders and sentenced to death. Finn claims he pretended to be the Trapper to take the heat off of the real killer, Adam Jones. Adam promised to kill again to clear Finn's name. After hearing Finn's case, Judge Vanstone agreed to release him into police custody to assist the investigation. Lana Petty, public defender. Lana accused, sorry, Lana asked Felicity to hear her client's confession before his execution. Right, Officer Montesinos, a trapper victim. Officer Montesinos was gravely injured by a trap planted on Jack Calvary's body. Sergeant Riggs, Becky's sergeant. Riggs was Becky's sergeant in the homicide department. Simon Hillary, medical Examiner. Simon was the medical examiner on the Trapper case. Simon was almost killed by a trap rigged to Jack Calvary's body. Tom Nelson, Becky's partner. Tom was Becky's partner in the third precinct. He was promoted into homicide alongside Becky and remained her partner. A prostitute, murder suspect. A prostitute was with Jack Calvary on the night he was murdered. Could she be involved somehow? Rupert Walsh, trapper victim. Walsh was an undertaker and local drunk. He had no connection to the Las Palmas orphanage. Frankie LeMay, trapper victim. LeMay was an orderly at Las Palmas Orphanage and a known drug dealer. Father Rominski, trapper victim. Rominski was the chaplain 
responsible for the abuse at Las Palmas Orphanage. And that's it so far. Right, arrest. Becky arrested Finn, but the hostage was electrocuted. Becky and her partner were promoted into homicide under Sergeant Riggs. Confession. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the day... Sorry, she met him at the court that same day. Day release. Felicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. Research. Felicity invited Becky to her home to review the case files. Becky and Felicity went over the files together. This is just a recap of what's happened, really. History. Becky withheld the truth about her feud with Calvary. Alibi. Becky had an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. We are up to date with everything now for anyone that has just joined the stream. Let's continue. <laughs> just basically a recap of everything that's happened so far. Is everyone enjoying this game so far? Please let me know in the comment section below. Can everyone hear me okay? Let's carry on. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. We're gonna be concerned here. And what about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The blast exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved Calvary, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Yeah, me too. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be the hooker. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey, I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, 
I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Let's be restrained about it. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. So I've been going over it in my head. What? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Becky. I asked you a question. Will you let me go, please? Right. Becky can. Becky confronts her partner about his suspicious attitudes. Let's be. Let's just continue to be concerned, I guess. I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fine, Mom. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. Be disappointed. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Right. After Calvary's murder, Becky went through his old case files to search for clues. And Felicity's, after Calvary's murder, Felicity worked closely with the police to catch the killer. Uh, right, let's go to investigate his first victim. the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes? Miss Johnson? What do you want? We're going to be serious here. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your husband. I ain't got no time for this. I'm sorry, what was that? I said I ain't got no time for questions about my lying, cheating husband. Nobody came and asked me questions when I reported him beating on me. Right, we have a new character, Jody Johnson. Jody Johnson, victim's widow. Jodie was married to Rupert Walsh, the trapper's first victim. Let's be... 
apologetic here. Well, I'm sorry to hear about what you went through. And I'm sorry those cops didn't help you. They should have. Damn straight. Well, I'm here right now, ready to listen, ready to help. Well, what you want to know? Right. There's some new plot information as well, so... Becky searched for clues in the old Trapper case files. And Becky spoke to the widow of one of the victims, so... Let's see what ripple events we got. Right, hookers. The undertaker's widow said the husband regularly used prostitutes. That sounds worrying, but here you go. Let's say you should have told the cops handle it professionally. Miss Johnson, you should have told the cops if your husband was abusing you. What are you talking about? You don't know shit. I called the cops on my husband three times a damn week. They never came. They didn't give a good goddamn till something happened to one of their own. Okay. This is 609, in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Well, that was a stalker. Average Did height. He had a good look at the figure Dark following hoodie. her. Could it be the trapper? Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Must be relaxed about Someone it. Someone was on my tail. What? Are you okay? Yeah. But they bolted the second I made them. It could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. Right, they release. Felicity persuaded Judge Van Stone to release Finn into police custody. I've already read that. Sorry. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? Oh, I think we ought to... We'll tighten the cuffs. How's that? So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up.
All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. We got another thing to look for some more clothes. That was going to be hard. We got two out of three clues. That's not bad. Report on the orphanage fire. Box of pest Adam's control Pop supplies. Pest control man. You don't say. It's a pretty good one too. <sighs> Traps, of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Adam's father was a pest control officer. Adam grew up surrounded by traps. We got one on Bill Vanstone now, the county judge. Judge Van Stone sentenced Adam's mother to life imprisonment for killing her abusive husband. Just don't want to leave any stones unturned. We want to get as much information as we can. Be serious. Murder is murder. Murder is murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So yeah, Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing, not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hell hole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops? He knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed. Parents failed. System failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. He was sent to Las Palmas after his mother murdered his violent father. Let's be... Probably be... I'll make them pay. If I've been hurt like Adam? Yeah. I'd want them to pay. Yeah? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. 
After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is... something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. We went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Rominsky pay. Daniela Cardenas was in on it? And now she's dead. She was later implicated as a co-conspirator in Finn's ruse to pose as the Trapper. I'm gonna be surprised here. Son of a bitch. My God. The hostage was in on it. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to dig up the case. You gonna be all right? Right, this is an APB. Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. This dude's time to go. I think it's time we all got out of here. Hold up. I need to talk to you alone for a second. Just you. Be impatient. You've run out of chances, Finn. Sorry. Oh. oh my god. We shot him. We've just learned that convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn, also known as the Trapper, has been fatally shot while assisting police with an ongoing investigation. All right, I want to know what happened. I want to know now. Becky killed Finn when he tried, when he attempted to escape. So the trapper is officially no more. Right, fugitive. Becky shot Finn dead. Becky's sergeant reprimanded her for her behaviour. Right, just come clean. He came at me. I shot him. It was a clean kill. Well, this is a fucking mess. Marnie, you're back in the file room. Don't you need me out there? We have to find the hooker that did... You're on thin ice, Marnie. Case files or suspension. Your call. So... What the hell's going on with your partner? Something's just not right here. I can't put my finger on it, but... Keep an eye on her. Yeah, I will. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But 
Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. We found a strange quote. Oh. And we found a photo as well. Hey, how's it going? Anything at Los Palmas? I'll fill you in when I get to the station. Wait, wait, wait. Did you find it? Yeah, keep them in suspense. Eight twenty three PM, revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Stains in a blast pattern. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the um, the origin of the blast.
Uh oh. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will. Just could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. It's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession to pin it on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God, please. Please, Becky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? Oh. I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Right. Felicity Graves District Attorney update. Suspicious of the police, she snuck into the crime scene to search for clues. Still got a full drink, that's alright. Let's carry on to the next bit. Just pretty much recapping what we've already done. And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. Hmm. I went back to the crime scene to see if Forensic missed anything, but came up empty. Uh, not exactly. <sighs> Jesus, Becky. What? Any evidence you found will be inadmissible. Uh, well, it's still a lead. Thanks. I wish we could find the hooker that was with Calvary. That'd at least be a place to start. Maybe Finn's right, and Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to Sergeant in the morning. All right. See ya. She's dead. 
wasn't quick enough. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What Becky Marnie, homicide oh. detective, Whoever was kidnapped after being attacked at the Temple Bar. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. There are two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. Is she dead, low? or... We'll find out, I guess. Probably knocked unconscious, more like. Looks like she isn't dead, which is good. Mysterious figure kidnapped what Judge Vanstone, me, God damn it. gathering her thoughts. Becky heads. Ah, uh, Judge Vanstone, I am. Um... Gathering her thoughts, Becky heads to the central what is it? bar to meet it's the Felicity. Becky meet met for Felicity at the bar to discuss you're, the you're, findings. You're rigged. I, I... What? Lana calls Felicity oh, with some no, interesting information. No, Becky no, woke no, up no, in their no, hotel no, room no. after being drugged. It's probably an, an, an explosive and... Shit. Uh, uh, oh, God! Has been caught by the trapper. Van Stone, that is. Oh, it's all getting exciting now, guys. <laughs> How's your head, Detective Marnie? Ooh. They're coming for you. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Why are you doing this? Tell me why. Haven't you fucked with me enough? Oh, please, Dr. Marnie, so vain. I don't give a goddamn about you. Sorry. You might just come out of this alive, if that's any consolation. But you need to listen very carefully. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. But, every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Very sorry for Game this. Over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Don't do this, please. Please. I didn't do anything to you. Please, don't. Ain't that the bitch of it, though, huh? Thinking 
that somehow it's all your fault. Sometimes life just doesn't make any sense. It stomps you down, so you learn to grow spikes on your back. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. Think so I have a kill or bait. So what did he say? Kind of thing. Are you gonna get me out of this? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? <laughs> the trapper drugged Becky and tried to blame her for Judge Van Stone's murder. What a sick fuck this trapper is. Judge Vanstone said you were hiding out at the Elliott Hotel. We are outside right now. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me, please. Vanstone's, he's, he's dead and, and it's all my fault. Becky, stay put. We're coming in. Caught by, he was caught by the trapper. Trapper kidnapped Judge Vanstone and wired a bomb to his heartbeat. Becky Marnie executed Vanstone to hold the bomb's timer. Executed Judge Bill Vanstone rather than leave him to the trapper's explosives. interesting information. Becky woke up in the hotel after being drugged. Becky tried to escape the hotel. Police surrounded the hotel where Becky had been sighted with Judge Benstone. She survived the trap and tried to flee the hotel. We're gonna flee. I 
know how it looks. But I'm being set up. You have to trust me. Drop it. Drop the gun. Let's just fly. Felicity. I'm being set up. And now, now, now they're gonna say I left the crime scene. Listen, I'm gonna fight in your corner, you know that. But you gotta turn yourself in, okay? Becky, it's a no-brainer, you have an alibi. Remember, you were with me the night Calvary was killed. If you run, it'll just make things worse. I am not going down for this. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Officials have confirmed that Marty is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. We'll recap the plot again. Lana called Felicity with some interesting information. Becky woke up in the hotel room after being drugged. Becky tried to escape the hotel. Police surrounded the hotel where Becky had been cited with Judge Vanstone. Felicity met with Becky. Becky Marnie is currently still events. at large. But rest assured, we will find her and bring her to justice. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. I know she had motive. Arrest and he's still at large. Opportunity, maybe. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. Uh, yeah, well, Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. There's just no way to know what really happened, unless we catch her. And we will. Yeah, I... I don't know. I just... It just doesn't make sense. We've reached I the end of the game, onto guys. Something. I don't think she's behind this. I trusted her. I... I trusted her. Do you know where Marnie is now? Hopefully somewhere very far away. One of the reasons I chose to stream this game, because... It was quite a quick game, so it made sense to do this one for a stream. I think it is pretty similar in terms of the setup and that. You can do different things and you'll get a different ending. I think that's how it works.
See that that's unlocked us anything as well. Hope everyone enjoyed the stream anyway. Please let me know what you thought of it. patiently until all these scenes. Because I played this right till the ends, I'm going to have a longer break now for in between my next one actually still quite nice the weather so stretch me legs
some point down the line, me and my good buddy, Dolic Memorize1987, will be doing our co-stream once again of uh, Until Dawn. This will be the final part of that, so... When he's next available, he will be helping me finish that. So, watch this space, guys. Guys, if there's any games you want me to play, and I've got the game, please let me know, okay, in the comment section below. Because this is your stream as much as mine. Probably will do some more of the Raven later, so please stay tuned. toilet guys while the credits are still rolling so bear with me in a bit That was probably one of my longest streams that I've done as well. I just want to wait and see if there's any, f any like cutscenes after the credits because normally. There is. Hello, whoever's just joined the stream, I hope you're okay and keep him well. So, what have people been up to today on this fine sunny day? Is this a game that you, is this a sort of game that you'd play? Thank you. 
Big thank you to my good friend and fellow wrestling fan, Blue Boy 1985, for getting me into streaming during this pandemic. Thank you, Blue Boy 1985. Without you, I don't know what I'd have done. He is a very good content creator, guys. Please go support him by giving his Twitch a follow at twitch.tv blueboy1985. Any streams that you miss, they will be uploaded to his YouTube channel, which is youtube.com. Hammers Reviews. He does a lot of WWE 2K, Harvest Moon, plays games like FIFA, quite a variety of games, so please support him. He has been a lifesaver throughout this whole welding crisis. reason as I say I'm not skipping is because I want to see if there's anything extra after the credits that because we don't want to leave any stones unturned the credits that <laughs> don't seem to end. <laughs> give my your iPad a charge. Oh! Not me coke over in the process.
believe we have reached reached the end of the credits finally. Looks like we have anyway. I thought there'd be. Maybe we'll find out who it is. Whoa. You must have had some heck of a rat problem. Mm hmm Ooh. So it was him. See you? I didn't realise that. We'll go back then. Yeah, guys, that was my stream of Hidden Agenda. Hope you enjoyed it, guys, okay? Before I come off the air, I'd like to remind you of three things. Number one, when you're out and about, please keep wearing your masks. Two, keep distancing from other people as much as you can. And three, whenever you get home, please keep washing your hands. And the more you keep listening to the government's advice and keep following the rules, the more chance we will have of going back to a near normal life some point down the line. So don't be selfish, guys. I know you can do this. The more you keep listening to the government's advice and keep following the rules, the more chance we will have of our liberties and rights coming back one day. So until my next stream, guys, take care and stay safe. So long now, people. <laughs>